Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make my crochet pattern, the Peppy Rectangle Blanket. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, how to make the slip stitch, and the double crochet stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. So starting from the very beginning, you're going to make 20 chains, which I have already made here. To start row one, make one single crochet into the third chain from your hook. You're now going to make one single crochet into each chain across. So that's one single crochet into the third chain and then one single crochet into each chain across for row one. To start row two, make three chains. Into the first stitch of your row, make two double crochet. These three chains at the beginning are going to count as a double crochet, so technically we have three double crochet in this stitch. Skip two stitches. Into the next stitch make three double crochet. Skip two stitches. Into the next stitch make three double crochet. Skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. Skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. Skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. When you get to the end of your row, you're going to have two stitches left and then a chain over here at the end of your row. Into that chain at the end, you're going to work three double crochet. So one, two, and three. And that's how that's looking. You're going to make two chains. These two chains are going to be our corner. Into this same space that you just made these three double crochet, make three double crochet. So this is our side block of three double crochet. So you can see how this is the corner. This is that side block. Make two chains for our next corner. Into this same space as these two blocks of three double crochet, make three double crochet for our first side block on this side. And that's how that is looking. You're gonna repeat the same pattern as you did over here on this side. You're gonna skip two stitches into the next one, make three double crochet. Skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. Skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. Skip two 
skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. Skip two stitches into the next one, three double crochet. When you get to the end of this side, you're going to have two stitches or two chains, technically, since we're working into the bottom of this two stitches and then this is going to be that starting chain that we had first made into that stitch or space or chain you're going to make three double crochet that's how that is looking now we've got to make our corner so chain two so we can work on our side into that same chain stitch or space that you were just working into make three double crochet so that is going to be our side block of three double crochet we have to make our next corner so chain two we're going to connect that corner or chain two to the first block that we had made with those chains and two double crochet at the beginning of our row. So you're going to slip stitch into those chains you made at the beginning to complete your row. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, flip your rectangle over to the other side. So now we're looking at the back of my example rectangle blanket. You're gonna do this on every row because it's gonna keep your rectangle straight as it starts to grow. I brought in my new color and you can attach your new color to any open space between stitches on the side of your work. These three chains are going to count as a double crochet. So now we're going to make two double crochet into this same space with those chains. So you can see we have a block of three double crochet now. To skip over any previous double crochet block of three, make one chain. So this is going to be like the granny stripe stitch, which I have a video on and I can have it linked down below. You're going to be working three double crochet into any open space on the side of your rectangle. So here's three. Then make one chain to skip over any previous block of three to work into the next space. Three double crochet in that next space. Chain one skip to the next space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next space, three double crochet. chain one you're going to skip to the next space which is a corner space so into the corner spaces we're going to work three double crochet like we've been doing chain two for our corner spaces three double crochet into that same corner space we were just working into Make a chain to skip over this side block of three, working into this next corner. Again, three double crochet. Chain three for our corner space. 
make three double crochet into that same corner space we were just working into. That's how that is looking. Make one chain, skip over this block of three into the next corner space, same thing, three double crochet. Chain three, three double crochet into that same corner space. Chain one, skip to the next open space, three double crochet. Same thing as our side that we were working on over here. One chain, skip to the next open space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next open space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next open space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next open space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next open space, three double crochet. Chain one, skip to the next corner space, three double crochet into that corner. Chain three to make a new corner. Three double crochet into that same corner space that we were working into. Chain one, skip this block of three into the next corner space. Three double crochet just like we had made. Chain three, three double crochet into that same corner space. So now we're back near the chains and the two double crochet we made at the beginning. So like we've been doing, we're gonna make a chain to skip over this block of three, and we're gonna slip stitch into the chains we made at the beginning of our row into this block of three. To complete our row. And that's how row three is looking. You would now repeat row three for how big you want your blanket. You're gonna be doing the same thing as we did here. You're gonna be adding more spaces along your sides. Same thing, work three double crochet into those spaces. For your corners, you're gonna be doing the same thing here. Three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. As you can see here, you're gonna be adding more spaces along these sides. Same thing, uh, three double crochet into any of these open spaces. And to skip over any block of three, uh, same thing, you're going to be working a chain. So your blanket's going get, to get bigger and you're going to be adding more spaces, but it's going to be the same pattern throughout. So I'm going to continue on making rows and I will come back when my blanket is complete.
So this is how my example blanket turned out. I ended up making a total of 40 rows for a throw size. And that is going to be how to make my peppy rectangle blanket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at crochet me lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.